now you know what is xarx command and how you could use it with piping. Now let's suppose that we have following task. We need to find all directories that have kernel somewhere in their names. And afterwards we want to list all files and directories in those found directories. For that we can use ls command combined with find command. First we will find all directories that contain somewhere kernel and afterwards we will execute ls command. Let's try that using exec option in find command. Alright, find. And let's look for such folders in all folders. Here will be absolute path to root folder, forward slash. Next I am looking for folders that have somewhere kernel, like so. Here will be name option. Next I say that I want to search only for directories, type D. Next comes exec option and here we will execute ls command that will list all files and folders inside of the found directories. Exec ls dash l let's say. Here will be also color option in order to see color output. Here will be a pair of curly braces and in this case ls command will be run multiple times depending on the quantity of the found directories. And finally will be backslash semicolon and it will be last argument for exec option. Here are actually all arguments that will be used for exec option. Alright, let's press enter and see results. And actually I see such sections as this one, this one, let me scroll a bit up, here is one more large section, and so on. Different sections, one section per found folder. Actually, let me remove temporarily this exact part, like so, and execute it without exact option. And uh, you see that in my case I have found uh, one, two, three, five folders that have kernel somewhere in their name. And here you see all paths to those folders, etc kernel, proc sys kernel, and so on. And actually here we see contents of every such folder. For example, let's list files and folders here in this directory. Let me copy it, paste, and I see same result as I have seen here in this section. But notice that in this output we don't see actually path to every directory we are currently processing. Recap that in this command, let me go back to it, each found directory will be sent as argument here to ls-l-color command. Alright, now let's try to use pipe operator and xarx command in order to perform same action. I'll simply remove this part with exec operator, then I'll add pipe operator, here will be xarx, like so, next will be ls-l and dash dash color option. Let's execute this command now and see results. And now I see that all files and folders of every found directory are grouped per path. For example, here I see files and folders located in this path. There is one file u event and one folder parameters. Same I see for other directories. For example, sys kernel, root etc backup to kernel, and so on. And that means that now we see actually a result that differ from the results that we have received with exec option for find command. And actually here, what happened? We have sent results of find command as arguments using xrx command to this command. And this command has executed actually multiple times, in this case five times. And we have seen results grouped by specific directory name, like etc kernel, proc, sys kernel, and so on. That's how you could combine find command, pipe operator, and xrs command. Alright guys, that's all for this lecture, I hope you enjoyed this example and now you understand how to use pipe, xargs, find and other commands. And that's all for find command. I have given you some examples, find command is very useful and it has many many different options and I hope you'll explore some additional options on your own. Now let's go on and next let's talk about compression in Linux and I'll explain you how to zip and unzip different files and folders. I'll see you next, bye bye.